Uh, last week we did point center quarters and that's a way to figure out how many plants per acre or how many plants per hectare, which is density. We've got another method for density this week. Um, it's called a belt transect. And again, you're going to use your, your baseline. We're here at South Pasture. We walk down our baseline and then we would walk in at several uh, transects off that baseline to make sure that we cover the whole pasture. But we're just going to show you what one sampling unit looks like. So we decided, and it, it doesn't really matter what, what size belt transect you use, um, as long as it's big enough to grab some, some of the plants that you want um, and not too big. So it's, it's, you need to be fluid and you need to be flexible with it every time. Okay, so what we did this time, we've got two meters on the short sides and we've got five meters on the long sides. And again, it's for counting number, it's for density, so that's number of plants per unit area. So we probably wouldn't use this for grasses. We have bunch grasses here and we might be able to go through and count bunch grasses, but that would be kind of silly. For grass, we use cover and we use biomass, not so much density. So we're looking at woody plants again, and all you do here is you walk through and count, you know, you've laid out your belt transect, and what you would do as you're walking transects is maybe flip a coin and say, um, you know, tails means we're going to put it to the left, heads means we're going to put it to the right, and then lay out your transect so that you're not choose, lay out your belt area so that you're not choosing, okay? Once you've got it laid out, then you just go through and count um, woody plants. We've got a grand hanyo right here, a little one. Um, we've got another one right here, and another one right here. And I think that's it. You've got to, you know, just kind of look around for seedlings. Just make sure you don't miss anybody. But I think that's it. Does that look good, Joey? Yes. Okay. So, we have three plants in our first belt transect. <clears throat> um, we have, well, I have mesquite and we satch on this paper, but we can mark that out and put Gran Hanyo. So, in transect one, we got zero mesquite. We got three Gran Hanyo. If we had something else, we could stick it out here. We, I guess we could put the Gran Hanyo out there, but it doesn't really matter. So, um, you record what you get every time you put this down. Now, keep in mind, we, we did two meters by five meters. Once you, when you multiply two by five, Two times five is ten, so that is a ten square meter area that we looked at. So if this was the only one that we did, we wouldn't do it that way, but if this is the only one we did, we got three plants, three Grand Hanyo plants, in this ten square meter area. There are ten thousand square meters in a hectare, so we would multiply our three, ten thousand divided by ten, is a thousand so we would multiply our three by a thousand to blow that up to a per hectare basis okay so basically we've got if this was the only sampling thing we did we would say we had three thousand um grand hanyo per hectare at south pasture that's probably not all that wrong um but you would do this several times obviously you're not gonna you know just do one thing we're just showing you how to do it um so all you have to know really is, you know, the dimensions that you used. And again, we work in meters because it's so much because everything is, you know, by tens. So 10,000 hectares are a thousand. Hey, there are 10,000 square meters in a hectare. So you just blow it up to a hectare using that math. Um, then. Again, we're going to convert things to acres because we think in acres here. Uh, it's 0 0.405. So, mul so d multiply 
your answer by 0 0.405 to turn it into a per acre basis. So we came up with 3,000 Grand Hano per hectare. 3,000 multiplied by 0 0.405 is how many per acre we would have. What is that? Joey, did you get it? <coughs> uh, 1,215. 1,215 per acre because acres are a lot smaller than hectares. Okay? 0.405 of a hectare. <laughs> we said we'd have it last week. Yes. And we delivered. <laughs> we delivered. Okay. So, now you've got two ways. This is a way where we do a plot. The other one, the point-centered quarter, is a plotless method. Um, it kind of depends on what your preferences are, what tools you have on hand things like that but you've got two different ways now for um, measuring density of plants.